Webster. Hello there. I'm Uncle Jake. It's a beautiful spring morning. A perfect day for doing some gardening. Look, the daffodils are out. A sure sign the spring's here. That pile of rubbish was supposed to be a bonfire. It's been there a long time. I couldn't burn it because, well... Come on, I'll show you. It's a hedgehog. She's been fast asleep in here all through the winter. Careful, Webster. We don't want to wake her up before she's ready. Actually, the hedgehog ought to be waking up quite soon now. Now the weather's beginning to get warmer. I often saw her in the garden last year. What a busy time she had. Let me tell you what happened. It all began last spring, a year ago, when Webster was just a puppy. We were playing with one of Webster's favourite toys, when suddenly... What was that? There, in the middle of the road, was a hedgehog. I wanted to rescue her, but I could hear another car coming. What a lucky hedgehog. Hedgehogs can't see very well. And of course they have no idea how dangerous the roads can be. The hedgehog walked up the path and into my garden. Well, at least she'd be safe in there. Hedgehogs are usually up and about at night. And that night, I saw her, sniffing around on the grass looking for something to eat. Hedgehogs have a very good sense of smell. And they can sniff out their food in the dark. They like to eat meat, and there was plenty to find in my garden. Like a nice fat slug. Or a snail in a shell. A crunchy beetle. Or a juicy worm. I often saw the hedgehog in my garden after that. She lived there all through the spring. The weather got warmer and warmer, and soon... ...it was summer. And then the hedgehog disappeared. I looked out for her at night, but she was never there. I wondered what could have happened.
One day, Webster and I went for a walk. It was a lovely hot summer's day. Webster was five months old by then, and he loved to explore. What is it, Webster? What have you found? It was the hedgehog. And she wasn't alone. She had a litter of five baby hedgehogs. They were feeding on their mother's milk. They were only two weeks old by the look of it and had only just begun to open their eyes. The baby hedgehogs stayed in the nest for about three weeks. Then, when they were old enough to leave the nest, their mother took them for a walk and showed them where to look for their own food. The summer is a good time of year for wild animals to have their young. They need lots of food to help them grow strong and healthy before the cold weather sets in. And there's plenty to be found in the summer and the autumn, such as plants, fruit, long grass, and berries. Some animals, like the wood mouse, collect extra food and store it underground to eat later in the year, when food is hard to find. Webster and I enjoyed our walks in the summer, but then the weather began to change again. It grew cooler day by day, and soon, it was autumn. One day, I was clearing out some dead plants when who should I see but the hedgehog? Her babies were old enough to look after themselves by then, and so she was on her own again. Now it was autumn, she had to eat as much as she could to build up her body fat and put on weight. This would keep her alive through the cold winter. That night, I decided to help her. As hedgehogs are meat eaters, I thought she would like some of Webster's dog food. And some water, in case she was thirsty. Oh, Webster, I haven't forgotten you. Here we go. Webster's lucky. He doesn't have to search for his food. I buy it for him in the shops. It wasn't long before the hedgehog smelt the food I'd put out for her. I fed her many times during the autumn. I had spent most of the autumn clearing up the garden. And I was left with a big pile of rubbish. So I decided to turn it into a bonfire and have a Guy Fawkes party. The children made a splendid guy. Guy looks good. Guy looks lovely. I was just about to light the bonfire when. <coughs> what is it, Webster? Have you found something? It was the hedgehog. She looked as if she was dead. 
But she wasn't. She was fast asleep, hibernating. Thank goodness Webster had found her. Good dog, Webster. Good dog. We decided to leave her in peace and have our party indoors instead. Soon, the cool autumn days turned to winter. When the weather is cold and frosty, and especially in the snow, wild animals have trouble finding anything to eat. And that's why hedgehogs hibernate. They go into a deep sleep and live off the fat stored in their body. And there they stay, all through the winter. Eventually, winter came to an end, and the frost and snow melted away. The weather got warmer, and it was spring again. And that's the story of the hedgehog. What a busy year she'd had. <coughs> what is it, Webster? Oh, look. The hedgehog's woken up. She must be very hungry after her long sleep. There she goes. Looking for something to eat, I expect. If I were a hedgehog, I'd nibble a worm or slurp on a slimy slug. I'd sniffle and snuffle a snail from its shell, take a bite from a beetle or bug. I'd quite enjoy dining on dog food as well, if you'd leave some out on a plate. But when winter comes, I eat nothing at all, because that's when I hibernate. Webster? What are you up to? Come on, Webster. Don't tease her, leave her alone. She's got a lot of eating to do. Come on. <laughs> 